Alright, I haven't filmed for a while. I've uh, been working on the car here and there, little bits of things, but um, I did get it running better, and that was due to uh, bad gas. So I got rid of the bad gas, got good gas, and everything works great back there now. Um, but one of the weird things here is that if I... Uh, Turn on the car, and I want to say go to high beams, and I pull the high beam selector. Beep. The horn honks. Beep. Beep. I don't want that. Uh, also, the the turn signals uh, work. That cancels that way. Well, there's a weird short in there anyway. It doesn't cancel every time. Let me turn the wheels. So I'm going to pull the steering wheel off and check all that out. First thing I want to do is make sure I've got the wheels pretty straight. Oh, I've got the steering wheel locked. But that's okay. Um, we got to pull out the horn button. And you should just be able to. gently prize this out. He said confidently. I could be wrong. Just the just the black cap on this one. It's got a little keeper ring in there. <clears throat> and then on this one also, um, there's three screws here for the horn ring, which we're going to take off and we're going to clean that out separately. And then the ground for the horn ring comes to the side rather than the center, and uh, that's probably. Putting it on brights uh, changes that, so I'm going to get the right size nut for the uh, steering wheel here. We'll remember this orientation, and uh, we'll get this out, and then clean up back here and see what happens. So I came over here and tried this socket, and I put it on, and it just spun. Well, it just spun because it was loose. There we go. And there's our steering wheel, and this is why none of this stuff works. <laughs> let me let me pull you around over here. Well, there's your problem. Everything's just gummed up. Years of goo underneath here. So we're just going to clean all this up. And uh, it should work a lot better. I think there's just four screws. Ooh, it's greasy that uh, pull that out. And uh, we'll lube this up properly and, and get it to work. Yeah, so just four little screws. And as I did that, This little piece came out, which I didn't expect. And maybe what I'm doing is actually taking this apart accidentally, rather than just pulling it out. I think it would have just pulled out. So I removed something that I needed. Um, let me investigate. All right, so I started to pull this out. I took out the four screws here and started to take it out and uh, <coughs> a spring and a little flat piece of plastic and a couple other little pieces of plastic just fell out so 
it's got some problems. So I think what I'm gonna do is I've got some uh, spray I can spray on here, just some cleaner and lube um, for electronics. Um, and we'll call it good. Let me go grab that. So this is the stuff and it's just about gone. So I'm gonna try and clean up the contact for the, uh, the relay for the brights and down in here for the uh, uh, turn signals. And uh, the rest, I'll just, uh, I'll just clean the rest of this up with a little WD-40 and a rag or something. Let me try that out. Okay, so I went in here, <clears throat> sprayed a little bit around here, cleaned that up a bit and down in, down in here, and that's the, the turn signal part. So if we uh, turn on the car, turn signal that way, that way, it's a little loose still. Um, and then if we turn on the lights, We get high and low there, so that works. The thing that doesn't work is when I put on the steering wheel. Let me just stick this on here, and if we do the turn signal, and we turn and come back, it doesn't cancel. And that's what those little bits of plastic are for, are for canceling. And they go, somewhere on here. So I'm gonna look at that, see if I can get those back in there. One was sitting down underneath the plastic here when I, uh, when I took it out and it didn't work anyway. So uh, maybe that's what that other spring goes to. We'll see what happens. I can't hold on to this and manipulate those little pieces of plastic. So I'll show you when I get done. Okay, yeah. This little, where am I? Where's my pointer? Lost my pointer. This little slot right here is where those two little pieces of plastic go and there's a spring that connects them. Well, one was down underneath the plastic here along with the spring. The other one was up here. Look at these guys. You can see there's a little tang on that one on the left that that spring goes around. And the one on the right is missing. And so there's nothing to hold those in. So I'm just gonna have to live without uh, self-returning uh, turn signal. But uh, I'll get all this buttoned up. I'll get the steering wheel back on, actually. Steering wheel. Goes like that. And the ground goes on there, but you can't put the ground on there. Until you put on the nut. <clears throat> and the steering was a little loose, steering wheel, so I can actually tighten that down. If I take out the key, there it goes, the steering wheel should lock. Get a little bit tight on that. I'm gonna put you down for a second. It's supposed to be 36 foot pounds. That felt about right. <laughs> Oops. I had the right key to begin with. There we go. There's the steering wheel. Oh, there's the horn, and I think I can't do the uh, brights. Every time I honk, the, every time I do the horn, do the brights, I get a horn. Just in that position. Interesting. So I can turn right. And do that, <laughs> but I can't turn left. There it goes. A little short. That's gonna 
go away here over time, but I can put the horn button back in and we're all good. So, knowing all that, I think we're gonna replace the turn signal switch, bright switch. And looking at the wiring diagram right there, that's the switch, but it's also the ignition switch. But looking at the new switch right here and the bundle of wires, uh, the gray wires are European. They don't matter here or something like that. The, the other wires, the colors in those wires all match the colors of these wires coming out of this tube right here. These wires down here, all the ignition switch, switch wires. So here's my plan. I'm gonna cut these off here, scary. Um, take out the switch here, <laughs> and then put the new switch in, feed those wires, which go through right here. Can you see that? There you go, right here. Uh, and up through that hole. Um, I'll even, you know, maintain this this uh, black plastic here. I think I can feed them through there or do something with it. Or tape, tape, tape it, wrap it in tape or something like that. Um, and then I'll have these wire ends up here to match up. And you know, this one's easy. It's a ground. These two, there, these three are easy because they go into uh, the end of this connector. And these two go back here to the feeds to the, uh, go back here <laughs> to the feeds to the turn signals and, and the, uh, um, the relay for the brights and the, uh, where is it, relay for the turn signals and stuff. So that's my plan. Um, I think it should work. Uh, I'm just scared to death to, to cut those wires, but they match what's here. I mean, there's a there's a brown and white, a, a brown and another brown, and there's a, a brown and white, a brown, brown, yellow. Where's the brown, yellow? One of these, one of these was brown, yellow. Where is it? Can you even see that? There we go. Well, one is brown with the white stripe. One is like just thicker brown. And I, I do have to little little deciphering there, but for instance, there's a, um, there you can see this. There's a black, green, and white. There's a black, green, and white right there. Uh, there's a black and green, and there's a black and green. Oops, there's a black and green there, and then there's a black and white there, and there's a, uh, a black and white here. So that all matches up. That's all the wires except for these gray ones, which I don't know what to do with. What do I do? Just cut those? Um, they come off of the feeds uh, here of some of this other stuff, but they're not in the U.S. wiring diagram. They're, they're something else. So um, and how many of those are there? I think there's just three of the gray ones. Hate to think at you. I'm thinking at you right now, but this is this is my thought process. I think I can just cut those wires and be good. Let's do it. Bring it right back. By the way, this is the uh, Wolfberg, Wolfsburg West um, turn signal switch, 71 only. So basically, this is a, a 67, right? Because it's got 71 only parts. Um, I'm going to snip these gray wires, not these wires. Those are the ones that are accurate to my wiring diagram. These gray wires are not. Um, I've got them separated out here. And you can see they don't match the wiring diagram. All of these wires do. Those are the only ones I need, these wires here. So those are going to get snipped. Those are going to get snipped. And I'm going to pull the switch out. I'll bring it right back. And since this is an electrical project, we always want to uh, remove our positive from the battery. It was just way easier to do that two-handed. So the gray wires have been snipped there. They're just sitting there. Don't need them. 
Uh, where are we? I've cut these wires up here, uh, but left the tails on where they go so that once I get the new wires in, I can trace them and get them into the right spot. Now all I have to do is take back off the steering wheel and uh, get the uh, get the switch out and run it back through. That should only take a few minutes. We'll see. Let me get the tools set up for that. So we're going to be removing the steering wheel. Super easy. We just get underneath here. Which one is it? Oh, it's a plastic. Pop out the center cap. And we need to remove that ground wire. Um, that doesn't fit. Let me get the right size here. I think it's a 22. I know I said in the last video, but I can't remember. I'll go look. All right, it's a 26 millimeter, which I don't have, but I have a one and one sixteenth. <laughs> and let's see if I can do this one handed, I can. There we go. That's really all it takes. All right, can't do that one handed. I'll bring it right back. All right, this is the other reason we're changing this. This is disgusting in here. It's dirt and grease. I cleaned it once, but I didn't clean it great. And uh, it just doesn't make contact here anymore. It's just a mess. So, contact there, sorry. Um, four screws come out, don't lose those. And that's what holds this whole thing in. And we'll slip it out, pull the wire out, put the new one in. So here's the old switch out and you can see it's uh, it's coming apart. Some of the glue or whatever was holding it together came apart. Uh, a piece fell down there. There's a ball back here somewhere that falls out. So <laughs> I'm gonna snip these wires, pull them down through, get this whole uh, bit of the wiring thing out and uh, we'll uh, We'll see what we can do with the new wires to get them through that sleeve and everything. Uh, might just wrap it in tape and get it all through there. Okay, so we got the new switch in. The wires just feed, where are you at? Just feed underneath here. Um, pretty simple. <clears throat> underneath the, uh, there's just a slot right in here. I just fed them through one or two at a time. Came through just fine. Um, the four screws, one, two, three, four, I'm using a tiny screwdriver. Um, you just want those snug. You don't want them beat down. The other thing you want to make sure when you put the steering wheel back on is that you're not in one direction or the other because that little arm comes out right there and on your steering wheel, if if that's out and you put the steering wheel on, the cancel tab will just break that right off. So you want to be sure to be in neutral when you put the steering wheel back on. And then here's our, our dimmer switch and that. This is our contact ring for the horn and the ground. Um, so I think we're all set. I just need to get the wires uh, back up through the, uh, uh, the firewall. This is not really fire. Well, there's no fire up there. Well, there's a gas tank, so you could have a fire. But just gotta, I don't know if I wrap this or try and uh, push it through the original. Yeah, we'll try and push it through the original. That's not gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. And uh, I'll bring it back once I get that through. Yeah, that didn't work. So we just got some electrical tape, did a nice tape wrap. I might try to preserve this last bit here. It's a split bit that went up through the. Uh, through the firewall, it kind of gave it a little bit more of a seal, so I might preserve that, but uh, that's what we got. So we're gonna stuff the wires through the hole up. Oh, you see my flashlight. You can't see anything else. Just a minute, I need a light. Can I do that? There you go, where's the hole? Hole is right there. That's the hole through the firewall. And we just gotta push the wires through there pretty easy and uh, We'll do that. By the way, the flashlight, this is like from the 70s. This was in the car um, and it works. Uh, I put new batteries in it. Works great. It's just got this little clip, holds it into the car. I think that was an accessory. Pretty dang cool. Love it.
All right, so we push the wires back through our hole with our a little bit too much of the uh, wrap, but I can take that off. And then basically, you know, the one ground went back here. And then the others connected here to this junction. And the other two connected back behind the uh, the dimmer relay. Can I see it? Yeah, right back there. Those There was two connectors back there that they connected in. This should all be set. All I have to do is put back on the steering wheel and test. I'll hook up the power and uh, it should work. We'll see. All right. That's the, uh, you can't see it. Where is it? There it is. That's the right. That's the left. Got a blinker. Turn on the headlights. The headlights out there. Uh, but no brights. Um, so I've got another problem with the high and low beams. I have to sort that out, but I do at least have low beams. Um, if I put a replacement dimmer relay in that I got, uh, I have high beams. So all I have to do is get out, open the hood, change dimmers, and it will work just fine. Um, but we have turn signals, haven't test canceling yet. So we'll try that next. I also don't have brake lights right now. So um, the problem with that is uh, the brake switches. I'll only turn the key off so I don't burn up the coil. Uh, the switches uh, on the brake master cylinder are bad. Those will be here tomorrow. That'll be another video but for right now that kind of wraps this up uh, everything's in there right the um, uh, the wires look good and they're down here you can't see it it's black but there's the wires and uh, under the hood <clears throat> all of that is where it needs to be uh, except for the high and low beams which could be something down here with one of these wires just need to be cleaned or something. I've got some contact cleaner. I'll try and clean that up, see if um, something's wrong underneath the uh, the relay, which is right there. That's the original. Um, there's the replacement I got. They, they, they work. Um, but the replacement's stuck in high, the uh, original's stuck in low. And I can't get them to dim. So we'll have to figure that out. But that should do it. Just remember to uh, like, share, and subscribe if you would, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.